Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Night Movie Club. If you guys remember, what was your assignment? What was the assignment this week? It's Vampire Week. We have Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, and the Lost Boys. I'm warning you right now, this is not going to be some in-depth, really thinking about the themes of these movies because these movies are campy as hell. They are pure entertainment and they're just fun. So this is going to be a very lighthearted discussion. I'm sure this is going to be the theme for the rest of the month because the movies that I have lined up, they're not truly in-depth, real thinker type of movies, if you know what I mean. But they're just fun. This is what the month of October is all about. It's Halloween month. We're just having a good time. There we go. Okay. So we are talking vampires tonight. We don't have to just talk about those movies. It's vampire night. If you guys want to talk about any other kind of vampire movies, I'm all about it as long as I have seen it. All right. So before we get into everything, quick little update for you. Number one, Tony P will not be in the room tonight. He already messaged me earlier today. He is going to a spooky Halloween drive-in live action experience, which sounds pretty cool to me. Have a wonderful time, Tony. If he watches this later, I hope you had a lot of fun. Number two, update on my mom. My mom is doing well. She has been home not yet a week, not yet a week yet, but she's doing okay. Um, she had a little, a little fall today. At, she accidentally like slipped out of bed today. So luckily she's going to her doctor tomorrow. She's getting an x-ray. This was already a scheduled appointment. So we're going to make sure that Mama Sita is all right, but she's okay. She's sleeping a lot. Her body is healing, obviously very traumatic. So mom is on the mend cross your fingers. Still wish good luck to my mom. All right. Who wants to talk about Lost Boys and Buffy? Which one should I start with? Do you want Buffy first or do you want Lost Boys? Or should I just start? Let me just start. All right. Lost Boys. Okay. I watched the Lost Boys, Lost Boys first. Okay. So Lost Boys, I've never seen it before. And quite frankly, I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. However, I thought Lost Boys was going to be a little bit more on the scary side. I found it to me, I found it to be a little bit more comedic than what I initially thought, which I don't mind. I'm all about the comedy and making it funny. That's fine with me. But I thought it was going to be a little bit scarier. I thought with Kiefer Sutherland as like the lead vampire, Okay, first of all, I don't think I could ever be in a relationship with Kiefer Sutherland because he just looks evil and mean in like every single role that he plays. I don't know why he just does. He just has that look like on his face, like he's up to something. You know what I mean? So I enjoyed him as the lead vampire. I really did. And the movie as a whole, it was fun. And it was kind of like a little mystery. You didn't really know what was happening, who who is who like it was, it was kind of like who is the lead who is the head vampire you thought it was Kiefer but oh no it's not you know it's someone else um so I found it to be fun it was a fun movie a very enjoyable watch it made me sad to see Corey Haim because as we know he passed away you know some years ago and that was just upsetting so <laughs> but I did enjoy him I really enjoyed him in this movie, Corey Feldman, I'm not really sure why he had that voice, that deep voice that he was doing. He was sounding like this all the time. I don't really know what that was about. I guess that was his interpretation of the character. I guess I can appreciate that. I found it a little weird and a little strange. But Corey Haim, I loved Corey Haim. Adored him. Loved him. I didn't really understand what was up with like the little vampire. They didn't really like go into detail about the little vampire. He was like just there, you know? And then Jamie Gertz, who played like the only female in the movie, um, didn't really get much of her backstory of what, what, how she was incorporated into the whole group of the vampires. I don't know. I felt like that information was left out and I wasn't really sure. Are we just supposed to put the pieces together? I don't know. 
Like that was a little confusing. But overall, Lost Boys, fun watch, not overly scary or gory. Actually, I could have used more gore in this in this film. I really could have because it kind of left me unfulfilled. There was really no like gory vampire like eating people scenes. Like there really wasn't. It was just like showing teeth, you know, like, just showing teeth. That's all it was. So it was kind of let down a little bit with that. Just a smidge, just a smidge. And I've got to call bogus on this when Michael played by what's his name? Robert Patrick, right? Jason Patrick, some Patrick. When he was turned or was in process of turning, they didn't even bite him on the neck. I mean, come on. That's like Vampire 101, okay? You bite the neck and then like certain rules go from there for different movies and TV shows, whatever. But biting of the neck is essential. And that didn't happen here. He just drank blood and was like turning. I don't buy that. I don't believe it. So that part's a little iffy for me right there. But like I said, overall, Lost Boys, enjoyable watch. I had a good time. I want, I'm looking forward to your guys' opinion about this when I am done talking about Buffy. Then I will go back and you guys, you know, tell me your thoughts on Lost Boys and Buffy while I'm doing my little spiel right here. So now let's talk about Buffy. Buffy is like one... Buffy and Clueless were my 90s, okay? They couldn't be more different from each other. Jason Patrick. Thank you, Ty. Um, <laughs> these movies could not be more different from each other. Clueless and Buffy, but they were my 90s. I watched the hell out of both of these movies in the 90s when they came out. I adored Buffy. It is... It is such a bad movie, but it's it's so campy that it's good bad. It's a good bad. It's not a bad bad. It's a good bad. It's a cult classic. Yes, it was written by Joss Whedon, believe it or not. However, he was not fully happy with how this movie was turning out. In fact, I read in the uh, in the IMDb, the, you know, the, the little trivia section, I always do that when after every movie, I, I always read up on the IMDb. Joss Whedon hated how Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie, came out. He actually walked off the set a few times. I think he walked off one day and just never came back. <laughs> like he, he was totally unhappy with the direction that it was going. It wasn't his vision for how he wrote it. So then when he was offered to make Buffy into the TV series, that is so much better. He jumped at the chance and that was really his time to make Buffy what he had envisioned. And we all have to agree, Buffy the TV show is a thousand times better than Buffy the movie. But you know what? You gotta respect Buffy the movie because without that, we wouldn't have had the television series. And you got to give kudos to Christy Swanson. You really do. Because her Buffy wasn't bad, but it's not Sarah Michelle Gellar, like by any means. But I enjoy Christy Swanson's performance. I think she's hilarious. After rewatching it last night, I was laughing in parts that I was like too young to realize what they were joking about. So as an adult, getting the jokes made it a little bit more funnier. Um, <laughs> and um, God, I'm like losing my thoughts right here. Luke Perry, seeing Luke Perry in the movie, just like really tugging my heartstrings. Like God, Luke Perry and Corey Haim, like all these people that we don't have anymore. It just made me really sad. Just made me, Did anyone else feel that way about Luke Perry watching Buffy? Just really, really sad, really sad. Um, so if you guys did not know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is about this girl named Buffy Summers, who is the chosen one. She's this valley girl and she's so conceited and she's into herself. All she's into is her boyfriend and her friends. She hates school. She's a cheerleader. She's head cheerleader. She doesn't care about anything in the world. And then Merrick, played by Donald Sutherland, both, go, both Sutherlands we get in the movies tonight. Donald Sutherland shows up as Merrick 
the watcher who is pretty much giles from buffy the tv series he shows up and tells buffy you are the chosen one it is your destiny you are to kill fight and kill vampires she doesn't want to they go back and forth eventually he shows her what she has to do she trains etc etc that's pretty much the movie it's very simple in a nutshell and it's highly it's highly enjoyable it's a quick watch it's under 90 minutes I like it. I like it. It's a, it's a campy cult classic for me and I highly enjoy it. And I'm going to give kudos to anyone out there that can tell me now Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie has a lot of star power in it. Believe it or not, as we know, Christy Swanson, Donald Sutherland, Luke Perry, David Arquette is in there. Hillary Swank. If you guys did not notice Hillary Swank, Two-time Oscar winner Hilary Swank plays one of Buffy's best friends in the movie. But there's also two other cameos. I don't know if you guys caught this or not. One of them is an Oscar winner and the other one had a talk show. Let me know if you guys recognize who these people are. I want you guessing right now. Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right, I'm going to go back. Give me your thoughts on both movies. I enjoyed both. We have 14 people here, but only five likes. Let's get that like button up. Hit that like button. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I want to hear your thoughts on tonight's choices, Lost Boys and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. All right, Michael Morrison is here saying, hey, everyone. Candace is ready. Marcy Munn is here saying, hello, peeps. What is up, Marcy? Mr. Scott is here. No name. I think you're new. No name. Loves the Lost Boys so much. Destiny is here. Hi, everyone. I didn't watch the movies because I went out of town. What? But I'm ready for the discussion. Destiny. That's all right. I'll give you a pass. You went out of town. That's okay. No name is saying amazing all around. Candace loves both movies. Rob is here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rob. What is going on? Sammy Boy is asking me, have I seen the 1985 Fright Night? No, I have not. What is it about? <laughs> is it about zombies? Like, what's it about? I don't know. All right. Oh, sorry. People were wanting Buffy first, and I started with Lost Boys. Oh, what that happens. <laughs> it happens all the time. Casey Lee's here. Hey, Susan, everyone else. How are you, homegirl? I am doing well. I worked today, made decent money, came home, ate a great Sunday night dinner, did a little bit of relaxing, prepared myself for tonight's live, and here I am. So here we go. How are you? How was everyone's weekend? How was your day? What movies have you been watching for Halloween month? Please let me know as well. Ty is here as always. Hello, Ty. Official Gamer Boys channel is here. Hello. It's been a while since you've been here. Hello, hello. Justin Kirby had a successful uh, hunt yesterday, a Funko, some VHS, and pumpkin goodies. That is always a good time. Excellent. Rodney's here. Hey, everyone. Happy National Coming Out Day. Uh, he came out a year ago today. Congratulations. Good on you. Always be true to yourself. You should be proud of yourself. All right. Justin Kirby is saying the garlic scene. Oh, and Lost Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Morrison, speaking of Corey Haim, who has seen Silver Bullet. Highly underrated. I have not. I have not. All right. Everyone is congratulating Rodney. Let's all support one another. Congrats, Rodney. Wonderful. All right. Ty is saying he watched an episode of Buffy after he watched the movie, did a little comparing in his mind. Yeah, for those of you who have seen the movie and then obviously the TV series, I want to know your opinion between the two. How do you compare them? I want to know how you like that. How did you enjoy Buffy the movie? Was it what you expected or was it too stupid or too campy? I really want to know your opinions. All right. All right. Marcy is saying, if I want a good vampire series, uh, Underworld, have I seen it? No, I have not. I have not seen Underworld. 
I know it's very dark. It's like a very darker tone. Trust me, I know that there's better vampire movies out there than what I chose. This is what I had. So I figure I might as well just, you know, go with this. <laughs> All right. Ty is saying R.I.P. Luke Perry. I know. R.I.P. Luke Perry. Michael Singletary is here saying his favorite underrated vampire movie is Razorblade Smile. Hmm. Frog Brothers and the Grandpa make the movie. Love SMG, but KS will always be Buffy first. Wow. Christy Swanson is your number one Buffy. That's awesome. All right. Justin Kirby loved The Lost Boys. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was funny, but it wasn't the best. It's kind of like, it's either a love it or you hate it. You know, it's like either you really like it, you get it, or you're just like, what? <laughs> what am I watching? All right, Ty is saying that Donald Sutherland is a great watcher, but Anthony Stewart Head is always the better watcher. I mean, Giles. Giles is great. Let's be honest. And I didn't like how they killed off Donald Sutherland and Buffy, the movie. I really didn't. I wanted him to stick around throughout the entire thing. So I was upset because then she was alone and she didn't have her watcher, you know? And that's why when, you know, the series, the TV series came and, you know, Giles was always there. That was good. You need, you need your watcher all the time. Like it's real. <laughs> All right. All right. Sammy Boy is saying, so is gore and blood your only threshold for you when it comes to horror? You wouldn't watch a ghost movie or spirit? Um, as far as like horror film, like I would rather watch a slasher, like a, like a gory slasher, you know, Scream, Halloween, um, I watched Friday the 13th. I watched Friday the 13th. That's going to be a never seen it series, which I will do a video on that this coming week. So I did watch Friday the 13th. I did enjoy that one. I liked it. Campy as hell, but I did enjoy it. Um, I've yet to watch A Nightmare on Elm Street. Like those movies, Child's Play, I'm sure I will like probably find very funny at this point in my life because I'm sure Child's Play is like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I'm not into like ghosts and spirit movies. I don't know. I just, I don't gravitate towards that. All right. Michael Singletary. Ding, ding, ding. Guess Ben Affleck. Yes. Ben Affleck was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer in the basketball scene when Grueler, when Buffy recognizes that Grueler is a vampire and Ben Affleck is the one that gives him the basketball and says, take it, man. That was his big one-liner in the movie. So that's the first one. What's the second cameo? I This one's a difficult one. And it was very early on in the movie. I don't know if you guys caught it or not. See if anyone guessed it. But Michael Singletary, good job of guessing Ben Affleck. Good job. Chris Cox just saw Tenant. What did you think of it? Let me know your opinion. All right, Sammy Boy is telling me what Fright Night is about. It is a teen trying to prove his neighbor is a vampire. But of course, no one believes him. Ooh, I'd probably like that one. You know what? When I go to FYE on Tuesday, then I will maybe look for that one because that sounds like something I would like. All right. Justin Kirby is saying Fright Night 2011 is better. How many are there? Is it like the original and then they a remake or something? Rob is saying 30 Days of Night is a great vampire movie. All right. Casey Lee had a yummy, yummy supper too. Had mashed potatoes, yeast rolls, chicken and peas. Mmm, nice comfort food. And coming in with a positive statement from watching... The movie, The Broken Hearts Gallery. Oh, so you enjoyed it. Fabulous. Maybe I'll go and see that one. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Michael Morrison. I thought the people like the movie for Buffy rather than the T. I thought that people like the movie for Buffy rather than the TV show. Not really sure what you're saying there. <laughs> Michael Singletary. The Buffy movie was her becoming the Slayer. 
The TV series was her learning to accept her burden. That's a good way of putting it. That's a good way of looking at it. Why am I still in the single digits for thumbs up? Hit that like button. We have only nine. Slam it. Slam the like. All right. Mr. Scott rewatched Scream 3. We'll watch Scream 4 and probably revisit the TV show adaptation first season. I was not digging the Scream TV series. I don't know why. I tried it. How did I get a 10th like and then it got taken away? Someone else took it away. What are we doing? You guys. <laughs> That's the opposite direction. That's not cool. I never got into the uh, the Scream TV series at all. I tried, but I'm like, this isn't, no, it's not it. It just, no, it just, no, <laughs> it's not it. Steve Mills, I think you're new. I've never watched the series, so Chrissy Swanson is my Buffy. Such a fun movie. You've never seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series? What? You have to go on Hulu right now and binge it. <laughs> binge it. All right, Justin Kirby saying 30 Days of Night is great. Rodney, hey, Susan, have you yet to react to the new spy thriller with Lupita and, of course, uh, Chastain? I saw it. It looks epic. Not very feminist, that's for sure. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a trailer reaction for that one. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. It's what? The 350... The 355, something like that. I don't know. Steve Mills is saying, watch Nightmare on Elm Street immediately. <laughs> well, I don't know about immediately, but I will get there. It's in the watch list. All right. Michael Morrison is asking for next Halloween. Could you have a movie club stream for the Blair Witch Project? Possibly. Possibly. That is a good idea. I have not seen that. I went and saw that in theaters with my mom and her friend. And I don't think I've seen it since. And that was a long time ago. Anna's late, but that is okay, Anna. Don't worry. All right, Ty is uh, Buffy movie remaking dream casting. Okay, uh, Dakota Fanning is Buffy. Daniel Craig is Merrick. Joe Keery is, I don't even know who that is, Joe Keery. And Willem Dafoe as Lothos. Interesting. Willem Dafoe. He's just so, he could do anything. He's just so, he's just such range. <laughs> Play Lothos. All right. JAD 730, Friday the 13th box set coming out Tuesday. I'm not getting it. Not getting it. Are you? Who pre-ordered the Friday the 13th box set? Ty is saying the Buffy movie was so bad. It was so good. Right? I told you. So bad, so good. All right, Anna's asking, hey, Susan, do they still have the Interstellar 4K Steelbook at Best Buy? Because I really need it. I'm not sure. When I go on Tuesday, I'll let you know if I see it. But uh, if you don't live where I live, that's not really going to affect you any. But, I mean, obviously, it's still out in stores. I'm just not sure if your local Best Buy has it. So go check it out. All right, Mr. Scott is saying, not a lot of people talk about the TV show of Scream. I think there's a reason why. Okay. <laughs> it's not that good. Anna saying that she loves the Lost Boys. Michael Morrison. Fun fact, there was a cameo from one of the Buffies in the Big Bang Theory. What, Chrissy Swanson was on Big Bang Theory? Is that what you're trying to say? All right. Steve Mills is saying Fright Night 1985 is better than the remake. Okay, good to know. So I'm going to seek that out. See if I can find that at FYE on Tuesday. That's a good one. All right. Rodney's saying, and apparently uh, Wonder Woman, well, Gal Gadot, is now going to play Cleopatra. Yes. And Patty Jenkins is going to direct it. I heard that. I saw that. Yes, indeed. All right. JAD730 saying 30 Days of Night is $4.99 at Best Buy. Good to know. Ty is recommending a great vampire movie. Taika Waititi's What We Do in the Shadows. Never even heard of it. Anna's asking, Susan, how many times have you seen Django Unchained? Once. One time. One time. Mr. Scott is binging many episodes of Smallville on Hulu. That's excellent. 
All right, Rodney's saying that next Halloween, we should do a Halloween marathon to get ready for Halloween kills. <laughs> Sammy Boy is asking, am I a Twilight fan? You would seem like one. What does that mean? I would seem like one. What does that mean? I was back in the day. I was never a freak, like not a psycho fan or anything. Did I go see the movies in the theater? Yes, I did one time, not multiple times, one time. Do I have the books? Yes, I do. I read them one time, not over and over again. And that was like at least 10 years ago. So <laughs> I'm not like a fan, but I, I was a part of the phenomenon, I guess you could say. All right. All right, Rob is saying that he saw the Interstellar Steelbook at Best Buy. Okay, it's still out there. Anna is asking, what is the best Quentin Tarantino movie I have seen? <sighs> the best Tarantino, I would have to say, I haven't seen all of them, but from what I've seen, Reservoir Dogs. I love it. I freaking love it. That's why when I saw it on Steelbook with my um, hunt with Durant Cinema, I snagged it. The Mondo Steelbook. I got it because I needed to have it. That's 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 my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. Right behind it is probably Pulp Fiction. But Reservoir Dogs is just on a totally another level that I just, I love. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's so insane. All right. All right, Mr. Scott is saying that he heard Patty Jenkins is on the side of 100% theater experience. Don't put Wonder Woman 84 on HBO Max or VOD. That's something that we are going to discuss on Wednesday. This Wednesday's live, when I do it, we're going to talk mm -hmm. about Soul going to Disney Plus and the whole Wonder Woman situation. Wonder Woman is going to move. No doubt in my mind, now that Soul has taken that date on Disney Plus, Wonder Woman is going to move again. I guarantee it. We're probably going to hear news either Monday or Tuesday about this. So on Wednesday, we can talk about it. We can talk all about it. But that is the, going to be the topic of discussion for Wednesday's live. If you guys want to get ready for it, watch some YouTube videos from other people talking about it. We're talking about Soul going to Disney Plus on Christmas Day and Wonder Woman 84. It's up in the air yet again. So that's what we'll be discussing amongst anything else you guys want to talk about because it's also a live Ask Me Anything. All right. Rodney's asking, has SMG, Sarah Michelle Geller retired from acting? Would she return? No, I don't think she's retired from acting. I don't think so. She's just happily married to Freddie Prince Jr., who coincidentally... They met on a horror movie. I know what you did last summer. They've been married like, what, 20 years now? And they have two kids. And I think she's just enjoying being married and being a mom. She's tried to do television series and they've just, they've never worked out. Other, she's never really had a big success like Buffy, unfortunately. I think she's stereotyped into that character. People only see her as Buffy. And I don't know if she's ever going to get out of that. So if she's fine with just, being a mom there's nothing wrong with just being a mom and a wife she's probably has like a buttload of money from playing Buffy for seven years so I'm sure she probably invested it well she doesn't need to act anymore I don't know but uh now I'm curious I'm gonna look up her IMDB after this and see what she's done all right Ty is saying great vampire tv shows besides Buffy Vampire Diaries hell yes if you guys have not watched Vampire Diaries Ooh, watch it. Watch it. Being Human, True Blood, the originals. Yes, the originals as well. Uh, what We Do in the Shadows TV show. Awesome, awesome. Rodney's asking, have, you, have I ever reviewed Kill Bill? No, I have not. Because when I started this channel, Kill Bill was out like way long time ago. I really only reviewed the newer movies, to be honest. I don't know. Just it's fresh. So I really only focus on the newer stuff. 
All right. JED730 is letting us know that Inception 4K Steelbook is $14.99 at Best Buy. I also saw I also bleh, I also saw that it Steelbook is $7.99 at Best Buy. It's not available online, but it might be in your store. So check it out. He's also saying Hateful Eight is great. I have to watch that one. I have to watch that one. I have to watch Jackie Brown. I have to watch what else? Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch the Quentin stuff. All right, Rob is asking Susan, what movies did you watch this week for the first, uh, for the first time? Uh, his are three, th three thrillers. Blah, blue, Blue Ruin. I can't talk. Blue Ruin, Lincoln Lawyer, and Killer Joe. All great movies. Well, I am going to do Never Seen It series video this week, so we're going to save it for that. But I do have a nice little pile over there. And then this coming week, I'll watch some more to add to the pile. All right, Marcy is saying, if they ever redo Buffy, I would love to see SMG play Buffy's mom. Oh my God. Well, first of all, I don't know if they could ever redo Buffy. I mean, it wouldn't be the same. It just wouldn't be the same. But that would be a cool idea. That really would be. I wonder if she'd be down for that. All right. Anna's asking me, hey, Susan, are you an American Pie fan? Um, not really. I'm not like a fan. I'll watch the movies like once, <laughs> you know? But I'm not like a fan. Daniel Davis is here. Hey, Susan, everyone. Hey, Daniel Davis. It's so quiet in the room without Tony P. What a void. Oh, my gosh. But he's having fun at the drive-in. So good for him. Sammy Boy, random question. Who's your favorite Sanderson sister? I love Sarah. My, oh, that, this is like Sophie's choice. You can't ask me that. Oh, if I had to pick one. You know what? I just got a soft spot for Kathy and Jimmy, man. When she's riding that vacuum cleaner, I mean, <laughs> that's hilarious. It's so funny. And she has that look, that look on her face the whole time. Oh my gosh. I love her. Casey Lee is asking, do you want to know my Blu-ray September haul, Susan? Sure. <laughs> sure. Marcy is saying SMG and Freddie are in a commercial right now. Really? They are? Well, there you go. She's working. She's in a commercial. Now we know. Ronnie is saying 2021 is like three months away. Some of the January films I don't see making its release date. That's my guess. It's all going to depend on what happens for a round two in the next couple of months. If cases skyrocket again, you know everything is going to shut back down again. And I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear, but it's facts and it's a reality because if we don't, what's going to be the end result, you know? So I don't necessarily have high hopes for anything either. I mean, God, I hope nothing happens like that, but I'm a realist. I think about, I need facts. I look at the facts. I look at you know, the trend of what happened before and what we're going to be getting into again. Now incorporating the flu on top of it, it's not going to be a good combination. So we just need to be very diligent about being healthy and careful the next, you know, just forever, <laughs> forever now. So it doesn't happen again. All right. Cool guys here. Cool guy. Hi, Susan and everyone. Sorry, I'm late. That's all right. Just got done watching Predator movie on 4K. Ooh, how was that? I have that. I got to watch that. Marcy's asking, where's Asia? That's right. That's another reason why it's quiet in the, in the room. Asia's not here. <laughs> Asia's not here. All right. Ty is saying, I heard that SMG hated season six of Buffy because it felt like it betrayed who she was. I think the big problem with that was the dark tone. Joss Whedon loved it. Um, I don't know. I don't know because honestly, I can't really comment. It's been so long since I've watched the Buffy series. I don't really remember season six very well, but season five, spoiler alert, season five, that's when 
that's when the show was supposed to end was season five because when it was on the wb network that's when we had the main four you know nbc cbs fox and abc then you had the wb and the upn which they now changed into the cw it's so weird but back in the day buffy was on wb for the first five seasons and then WB canceled it after five seasons. So at the end of season five, Buffy died, which I thought was appropriate. I actually enjoyed that ending. That that was her purpose. She fulfilled her purpose and she passed, she sacrificed herself for the greater good because she was the chosen one. So I thought that was a perfect wrap up ending. But then UPN picked it up. <laughs> for another two seasons so the show was just weird after that it, it was kooky she had this relationship with spike that was just so weird and strange and i did not like it at all hit that thumbs up if you agree with me about the whole spike relationship i did not care for that whatsoever that was just awkward and weird um so yeah i could see maybe how she would say that I don't remember her. I don't remember hearing anything about that. But uh, I would not be surprised. <laughs> I really wouldn't. All right. Every everyone's wondering, where's Asia? <laughs> because she's not here. And Tony's at the drive-in. So Tony's having fun. All right. Rodney's saying November movie month is completely empty. Yeah, I'm just afraid that's what it's going to be, Rodney. There really is no hope for the rest of 2020. 2020 movies canceled. This is why I'm saying Wonder Woman is going to move again. It's going to happen. Brace yourselves. I would not be surprised if it moved to June of 2021. I would not be surprised. So brace yourselves for that announcement. Because um, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> probably going to happen. All right. Casey Lee, September Hall. Amazon. Won't back down. Fighting with my family. I watched that. I like that movie. Book Smart. Miracles from Heaven. Sister, Sister Complete Series. Tales from the Crypt Complete Series. Gotham Complete Series. The Choice. Wow. You got a lot of stuff. All right, Justin Kirby found Friday the 13th and The Ring on VHS. That is awesome. Anna's asking me, Susan, how many times have you seen the first Scream movie? A lot. Probably 30, 40 times, something like that. I've watched it a lot. It's my favorite, so. And that's the thing. It never gets old to me. I enjoy watching it every single time. And that's a sign of a good movie. If you don't get tired of it, that's a good movie. All right. Cool guy is saying Predator and Pretty Woman and The Lost Boys and Beetlejuice. And I rent it. Oh, you rented all those movies at a red box. Okay. I'm like, where are we going with this? Okay. <laughs> Rodney saying uh, Wonder Woman 84 delayed seventh time. Fans will be over it. What choice do they have? What choice do they have? They have streaming. That's their other choice. That's their other option. However, you have people that are extremely stubborn that don't want to do that. But for the good of your movie, that's what should happen. I know it sucks. We're in a situation that we've never been in before or haven't been in since like, what, the 1900s or whatever with the last phenomenon happened. But they have to realize that their mindset of thinking has to change because the box office numbers are abysmal. They are horrible. They are the worst that I've ever seen, like ever. They're so bad. Do the right thing. Do not put your, you're insistent on putting your movie out into theaters. It's not going to make any money. Put it on VOD and streaming. I guarantee you that is where you're going to make your money. People want to see these movies. They don't want to go to the movie theater. They feel safer at home. They will pay. Trust me. Just don't charge $30 to do it. I'd say $19.99 the most to buy it. To rent it, maybe $15.99. I don't know. But 
All right. All right, Rodney has just started watching Once Upon a Time on Disney Plus, currently on season six. I used to love Once Upon a Time, but unfortunately, I stopped watching it. And I never, you know what? When the lead character of Emma Swan, when she left, I stopped watching it. So the last season, I still haven't seen, which I should, because I was really into that. I should just start all over and just watch every single because honestly, I just don't remember most of the plot lines, but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed Once Upon a Time. Michael Singletary is saying Buffy, Spike, Angel was just portraying what a toxic relationship is. Her dating pool is limited due to her status. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely not like, you know, that wasn't promotion of a how, about how, like how to, I can't talk tonight i'm so sorry that is not promoting a healthy relationship by any means that's what i wanted to say okay <laughs> rob is asking me susan what are your favorite crime thrillers what would you classify as a crime thriller like seven would seven be a crime thriller um what else i don't know i don't know that's a really bad answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Justin Kirby, what did everyone have for dinner? I had soup and a sandwich. I had pasta. Um, because we have great neighbors and because of my mom's condition, the neighbors brought over dinner for us tonight. So we didn't, ha we don't have to cook for a few days because there's so much leftover. So they made kind of like a baked ziti, um, kind of like lasagna style. I don't know. It was really good with homemade meatballs, a salad, fresh bread, and a strawberry shortcake for dessert. So that's what I had. Not the strawberry shortcake yet. I'm having that after this. <laughs> All right. Ty had pizza. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Casey Lee's continued September haul from Amazon. Safe Haven, The Longest Ride, The Best Me, The Karate Kid with Will Smith's Kid. <laughs> I like that. Dear John, Overcomer. Walmart, she got Just Mercy, Girls Trips, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Homecoming Double. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Marcy Munn agrees with Rodney. She loves um, Once Upon a Time. Four K Media Guy. Are you new? Have you been here before? Just watch Parasite. Really good movie. You just watched Parasite? Well, that's awesome. Parasite is a really great movie. I'm going to have to rewatch that. It's been a while since I have. More towards like award season, if we even have one. God, I'm so depressed about it. I'm so depressed about that. Is it going to get canceled? God, I hope not. My voice just went. What's happening? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, but yeah, Parasite, really, really good movie. So deserving to be the first best foreign film to win Best Picture. Really, really, really. Because we all know how I felt about Roma. Well, maybe you guys don't know. I don't know. But I was really dogging Roma at first. And I watched it. I opened my mind up. I watched it with my mom. And we were like, okay. I didn't understand the hype. There was so much hype over Roma. I'm like, why is everyone saying this is like the best movie of all time? It's a, it's like good. It's good. But, it, but Parasite intrigued me. It intrigued me. There's always these background things happening and something happening. Is this person telling the truth? There was like secrets and lies, like a whole bunch of different stuff going on where Roma was just boring <laughs> it was boring yes i know it was like telling the directors like childhood story okay i get that it's a passion project i get it but i was just over it like and it was really long too like in black and white i'm just not really a fan of those types of movies unfortunately except for psycho i watched psycho that is a good black and white movie <laughs> all right All right. You know what, guys? I'm noticing that no one has guessed the second cameo 
from Buffy the Vampire Slayer the movie. Does no one know? Should I reveal? Do you guys want to take a guess? All right, Michael Morrison is saying definitely off topic, but is it just me or was it really unfortunate that Disney bought over Fox? No more Predator movies, Alien movies, or original X-Men universe movies. Um, I Honestly, I don't know anything about that situation. So I can't really comment without sounding like an idiot. So I'm not going to comment. Oh, my mom's here saying hi. She's here saying hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> All right. Rodney's saying season six was the last best season of Once Upon a Time. He's about to watch season seven for the first time. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. All right. 4K Media Guy is saying, yeah, everyone is disappointed Disney bought Fox. And especially when they said they don't want to release catalog 4Ks. Destiny is back. Awesome. Ty is saying Riley was a terrible Buffy boyfriend. Yeah, I didn't really care for Riley either. I just, I'm like, really? I get it. She wanted to date someone normal, but like, I didn't like him. <laughs> I didn't like him. He was too, first of all, he was a blonde. Blondes can't be trusted. Um, men with blonde hair. I always say that. Not to discriminate against anyone out there that has blonde hair. I don't know. For me, I just have like this image in my head of like, Guys with blonde hair from like movies and TV shows, for some reason, you can't trust them. Am I wrong? <laughs> they always seem like they're the, they're the bad guy. They're the mean guy. I don't know. They have an, an, a secret agenda or something. That's why I always say blondes can't be trusted. Blonde men. <laughs> All right. Cool guy had Pizza Hut for dinner. I don't have a Pizza Hut in my town. It went away. All right. Rob's leaving. Have a good night, Rob. We will see you next week. Oh, speaking of next week, who wants to know what we're watching for next week? Uh, Destiny's having Taco Bell. That sounds good. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I have not seen V for Vendetta, and I don't think I want to. I don't think that Steelbook is coming out soon. I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get other Steelbooks. All right. Mr. Scott's mom made great fried chicken. Mm, I'm jealous. Michael Morrison didn't understand Rome at all. Thank you. Like, am I the only one <laughs> that didn't really like Roma? Thank you. All right. Casey Lee is continuing her September haul. Damn, girl, she does not give up. Dollar General. She got Gremlins Diamond Anniversary Edition. The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. That is a long title. Everything, Everything. One of the Night of the Museums. RV. James Bond Volume 1. Woo. Damn. 4K Media Guy, we need Home Alone 2 on 4K. Hopefully sales were good for Home Alone and Hocus Pocus, so they see. I hope so, too. Yeah, we need the second one. Can't have just the first one. All right. Destiny, Order, Cruel Intentions, Never Been Kissed, Castle Season 1 and 2, One Tree Hill Season 1 on eBay over the weekend. Damn, Destiny. Good for you. I'm rubbing off on you guys. I'm rubbing off on you guys. You better watch your wallets. I'm telling you. <laughs> watch your wallets. All right. Everyone's saying hi to my mom. Do, 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 do. Oh, Casey Lee's continuing. Okay, big lots. She got the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Mission Impossible Steelbook, Norbit, Dollar Tree, Anthem of a Teenage Prophet. Woo, I'm exhausted just like reading all of that. Good for you though. <laughs> all right. All right, 4K Media Guy is saying that The Lost Boys is definitely his favorite vampire movie. Nice. Very nice. You know, I really want to get like interview with the vampire. I haven't seen that out on Blu-ray or or anything. All right. Michael Singletary is guessing the second cameo, either Seth Green or David Arquette. No, David Arquette, you can, you can see him and you can tell that it's him. Seth Green, I actually didn't even know he was in there until I read it on IMDb. 
but he's not the one I'm talking about either. There's another cameo in the very beginning of the movie. I don't think you guys noticed her. It's a woman. All right. Oh, Michael Singletary got it. Ricky Lake. That's right. Ricky Lake plays the waitress at the coffee shop where Buffy and her friends go to plan the dance or whatever. And she has like a, a minute cameo or something. Ricky Lake. Damn. A lot of star power in Buffy the Vampire Slayer that I didn't realize when I was younger, but now I do. All right. Michael Morrison's asking me, have I seen any of the Purge movies? I have not, but I have the collection because I bought it at Walmart, the four movie collection. So eventually I will. All right. 4K Media is asking, am I planning to buy Lord of the Rings? No, I've never seen it. I have no desire to. I'm not into that stuff. So no, I'm going to save my money for other things. But I know there's a lot of you out there that are so excited for it, and I am happy for you. All right. Destiny's asking, is Hocus Pocus the movie for next week? Not yet. We will get there, but not yet. Next Sunday is musical week. We have never done a musical on Movie Club, and next week we're doing two. Which ones do you think they are? Well, the first one is Little Shop of Horrors. Great choice. The second one is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. How can I not do the Rocky Horror Picture Show for Halloween? So next Sunday, two musicals, Rocky Horror and Little Shop of Horrors. Horror in both of the titles. All right. So make sure you stream it somewhere or, I don't know, find a copy really cheap. <laughs> All right. Cool guy. Yes, I do know that Friday the 13th collection is coming out. <laughs> I do know. All right. Casey Lee's asking, Susan, what do you think people are going to do more of when it comes to Christmas shopping for people in stores and malls or shop online? Oh, people are going to shop online. No doubt in my mind, especially this year. I mean, online shopping has really taken off, but this year, it's going to be crazy online shopping because of everything that we're going through. I mean, I don't even know if we're, I mean, are we going to have Black Friday? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And if not, that's going to be very depressing for this Blu-ray hunter right here because I bank on Black Friday for those movies that throughout the entire year, I'm like, yeah, I could get you, but I don't want to pay like $20 for you. I'll pay $4.99 for you. So I'm going to wait for Black Friday. I'm going to miss that this year, maybe. That kind of makes me sad. All right. 4K Media guys asked me, did you ever watch Game of Thrones? No. No, I'm like the 1% the of the world that has never seen it. All right. Ty is saying Vampire Diaries, the originals and True Blood are his favorite vampire shows. I will agree with you with Vampire Diaries and the originals. I have never seen True Blood. That's why. Uh, Michael, Singleta Michael Singletary is enjoying my choices for next week, which is good. Good, good, good. Yes, Rodney, let's do the time warp again. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to do the time warp. Cool guy saying, Susan, I don't own any of those movies. I'm sorry. Um, does anyone know about streaming options for Little Shop of Horrors or Rocky Horror Picture Show? Please let cool guy know. Um, I'm not really sure if Netflix, Hulu, if any streaming has them. Please let him know. 4K Media Guy saying Black Friday better happen. Well... We have to be mentally prepared that it's not going to. <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be gonna be sad. Daniel Davis is saying that they are having early Black Friday sales on Best Buy online on Tuesday. I heard about that. I heard about that. But does that include movies? We're gonna have to see. If so, I might have to get in on that. <laughs> 
All right, JAD730 saying interview with the vampire is $9.99 at Best Buy. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. All right, Casey Lee has been doing early online shopping because of the amount, I'm sure, that people are going, the orders that are going to have to be fulfilled for Christmas. Yikes, I don't even want to think about that. All right. Anna is really liking the choice of Rocky Horror Picture Show because she has that DVD already. Amazing. You are prepared. Excellent. Now, all you need is a little shop of horrors. <laughs> all right. Justin Kirby is saying, yay, he love, love, loves Rocky Horror. Only drawback is they could have used Freddie Mercury. Oh, Freddie. Love Freddie. All right. All right, Scott is saying Little Shop of Horrors is on Hulu or Amazon. Ty is saying that both of them are on Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. Okay, so I think Cool Guy, Hulu, Amazon Prime. There you go. You can stream both. 4K Media Guys asked me, have, have I watched Queen of the Damned, another vampire flick? No, I've never seen that one. I didn't hear good things about that one, so I never bothered. Plus back then when it came out, I really wasn't into that. You know, I wasn't into, I'm like getting into horror right now. I wasn't really into it back then. So I never, I never watched it. Oh, Ty is saying that Rocky Horror is on Disney Plus. Is it? It's on Disney Plus? Really? Um, wow, I'm going to have to look that up. Um, so, cool guy, if you have Disney Plus, there you go. There's another option. Well, that is awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this live. I'm going to wrap this up. I know it's like not even an hour, but my voice is starting to strain. I need to, I need to rest. Okay, so you have your assignment. Next Sunday, Rocky Horror and Little Shop of Horrors. So be ready. We will have that discussion. Wednesday night's live. As of right now, we're going to talk about what's going on with movies. Mainly Soul, going to Disney+. Plus. Wonder Woman, I'm sure, will move its date by the time Wednesday rolls around. So that's something that we are going to discuss amongst anything else you guys want to talk about. Thank you so much for joining in on the live. I have some, some videos I think you'll find interesting coming up for this week. Again, I'm going to do the weekly poll every Monday. I'm going to list all of my videos that I'm going to do for the week. And I want to know your thoughts. Which ones are you guys looking forward to? So be on the lookout for that tomorrow underneath the community tab on YouTube. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I cannot talk. All right. I love you all. Have a good night.